Do you mind if I take a little listen to your lungs too? For almost two months, a critical care unit was home to Sean Krause, but he doesn't remember any of it. I believe I was under for 45 days. Unconscious, on a ventilator to help him breathe, after a case of the flu turned into a potentially deadly condition called ARDS. It's an acronym for acute respiratory distress syndrome, which it's a form of acute lung injury. In other words, the, the lung, the tissue of the lung has been injured um, by something. And this is kind of the classic ARDS picture where we have these dense consolidations on both sides of the uh, lung. Mayo Clinic Dr. Richard Oakler says that something could be a traumatic injury, a bacterial infection, or in this case, a flu virus. And sets off a big inflammatory response, and that inflammatory response is really at the heart of this ARDS. Here's what happens. Your lungs are made up of millions of tiny air sacs. They're in constant contact with your bloodstream, which carries oxygen throughout your body. Normally, barriers prevent water in your bloodstream from flowing into your lungs. When ARDS strikes, barriers break and fluid fills your lungs. That brisk inflammatory response in the lung now can pass through the bloodstream and throughout the body. And so you get a bad systemic response that can lead to other organ failures and ultimately the death. Dr. Oakler says close to 40% of all people who develop ARDS don't make it. I think my lucky star is now, I know that. Sean's treatment included medication to target the underlying infection and a ventilator to support his lungs. Ventilators of the breathing machines are really life saving because we were really able with the machine to help him breathe while his lungs were healing. Dr. Jeff Robotten heads the respiratory care unit at Mayo Clinic. He says for many patients like Sean, ARDS can be very tough. There was a time, Sean says, when his family gathered because things looked grim. They didn't expect me to live. I know how close I was to you know, pushing daisies, if you want to say. But Sean did pull through. Every day he's getting stronger, healthier, and ready to head home. Back to life. I'm just thankful to be here. For Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.